Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, being stuck in my house and in my town, trying to stay safe and socially distant for the coronavirus, um, I started going through some of my binders. Does anyone even still use binders for their cards? <laughs> I mean, those are, I still have one of my original binders I got back in like 1987. But anyway, uh, I've got some cards in binders, and since there's not many opportunities for me to go out to card stores or card shows or flea markets, I thought I'd show you some of the cards in my collection. And starting at the beginning of the alphabet, we may just take a, a tour throughout the next couple weeks and maybe even into the months uh, from some of the cards in my collection, and thought I would start here with Ronald Acuna Jr. So uh, just as a disclaimer, I don't have any, like, big-time cards. Um, you're not going to find any card in here that's probably worth more than... I don't know, 10 or $15. So if you're looking for some of the big time Acunas, the uh, hundreds and hundreds of dollar cards, I'm sorry, I'm gonna disappoint you on that. But just for just a regular guy who uh, gets most of his cards at Walmart or Target or just a lot of retail places, um, here's what I have, the, my top 10 Ronald Acuna Jr. cards in my collection right now. The two on screen are honorable mention. Uh, this is 2019 tops from last year. I just really like the Gold Cup. It's really a clean card. Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, this is only like a one, one or two dollar card. Not worth very much, but it's number one in the set. And he obviously deserved it after the year he put up. And then this one, you can see I bought this one at an actual flea market. Um, it was priced for six dollars. I thought I kind of overpaid for it at the time. Um, this is the only Bowman Chrome of Acuna I have. This is not his first Bowman Chrome. You can see this comes from 2018, uh, 2018 Bowman Chrome, also number one in the set, BCP number one, Bowman Chrome, Prospect number one. Um, I bought this for $6 last summer at a flea market. Um, I'd looked up all the prices of these cards on eBay. This card is gone anywhere from 2 to $9 when you include shipping over the last few weeks on um, eBay. So that's not a horrible price, but I didn't put that in my top 10 just because I think I may have overpaid a little. And just to be honest, I don't think this picture looks a lot like Acuna. If you look at his face there, um, that doesn't really look a lot like the face that we've come to know and love uh, with Atlanta the last couple years. So no offense to the card. There's nothing wrong with it. I just, uh, I just don't prefer it. So here we go into my top 10. My number 10 card. This one's actually less valuable than the one I just showed you. Number 10. This is uh, from... 2017 Bowman. I like this one a little bit better just because it looks more like Ronald Acuna. Uh, this is 2017 from Bowman Draft. You can see BD for Bowman Draft. Bowman Draft number 39. It goes from anywhere, anywhere from two to five dollars on eBay if you're looking for it. Now that includes the shipping price. So two to five dollars total for Ronald Acuna Jr. That's my number 10 card. Number nine, this one is not that valuable either, but I just really like it. I don't know about you guys, but Topps Fire is what this uh, set is. I believe it's a Target only, and I don't have a Target really close to me, so I don't get too many Topps Fire cards, but I just really like the color. I like the design. It's a little more futuristic, a little more, I don't know, non-traditional, you could say. Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr., this is just the base card, number 37. It's not anything fancy. The color in there is not a special insert, just the regular base card. It's only like a $1 card, but I just really like the color, and I like the photography, and I like the design of Topps Fire. I don't know about you guys. All right. Number eight in my countdown. Uh, you can see the glimmer and the sheen kind of off of the, the light there. This is from Topps Chrome Update, I believe, International Affair, Ronald Acuna Jr. This is from 2018 Topps Chrome, if I remember right. Um, I got this one off of eBay for a dollar, I think, and that's about the price point for it. Um, it's an insert set from Topps Chrome. And you can see, if you didn't know Ronald Acuna Jr., his father and his uncle and his mom were all big-time athletes. So you can see kind of where he got his athleticism from the little story there on the back. That's my number eight card. Number seven in my Ronald Acuna list is this... Now, this is from the 2018 Tops Update release. This is not the big-time card you can get out of 2018 Tops Update. This is the rookie debut version. You can see it has the date stamped on there, 4 18 when he made his Major League debut. Uh, this is the less valuable of the two Tops Update cards that you can get. Uh, this one is about 
four to seven dollars on eBay right now. Uh, mine's in okay shape. Uh, this one I, I was looking at it earlier. It's not, I think this top left hand corner up here has a little bit of white on it. So I'm not going to go get this one graded. It's only four to seven dollars. Um, but that is my number six card in my Ronald Acuna Jr. Um, collection. I'm going to put that one up and down even though it is a landscape card. My number six card, only a couple dollars, but I just really like the look of these 1984 35th anniversary uh, design cards. This is from last year, 2019 tops. They just look so clean, and the white jersey with the white background or border to the card, I just really like the way this card looks. It just kind of pops, and it just really is a favorite of mine, even though it's only a one or two dollar card uh, from the 1984 set, number 19, um, Ronald Acuna Jr., is my number six card in my countdown. I just really like the way that one looks. Man, I don't know about you guys. You ever have cards like that that, that maybe they aren't worth that much, but you just like the way that they look? I mean, this is only one or two dollars total, but I just really like the way that card, just like the look of it. That white border, I don't know. I guess it's the border just really gets, gets it going for me. All right, so there are my bottom half of my top 10. Now we'll move into the top five. My number five card, you can see this is also purchased at the same flea market. I purchased the other um, honorable mention card. This is Ronald Acuna Jr.'s first Bowman card. Now, this is the paper version. You can see up here, this is just the regular Bowman logo. It's not the Bowman Chrome. They call that Bowman Paper. And this one is his very first Bowman card. It's got a $5 price tag. Uh, that's what I paid for it last summer. Uh, the Price on eBay right now is about that, $5 to $10, including shipping. So obviously I bought this in person for $5, and that wasn't too bad. This is BP-127. Uh, I was really on the lookout for the Chrome version, the BCP-127. That's his first Bowman Chrome. I was really close to getting one of those, oh, a couple months ago. And then I, for whatever reason, I just kind of kind of lost steam on that card. But that is eventually maybe a card I'll try to pick up, the Chrome version of that. That's his first Bowman card right there from the Bowman release in 2017. All right, that's my number five card. Right. Number four, <laughs> a release that just came out a couple of days ago in 2020. Uh, this is from last year, 2019, the fortune teller card of Ronald Acuna Jr. It says, gaze into the future. And I just really like the message and the prediction they made on the back, right? Gypsy Queen has kind of got a theme of... Um, psychics or gypsies or tarot like card readers and so uh, look at the prediction they made for ronald acuna jr last year acuna will whack more than 30 homers in 2019 that's true shooting him past bob horner's 56 for second most by a 21 or younger braves player not only did ronald acuna jr accomplish that feat he went over 30 homers he also went over 30 steals um, he might have been over 40 homers if i remember correctly he almost went 40 40 and he had a chance if the Braves would have needed him to play down the stretch. They kind of rested him the last, what, couple weeks or a couple days of the season because they didn't need uh, need him. And they wanted him to have him wanted to have him healthy for the playoffs. But he might have had a shot at getting 40-40 last year, 40 steals and 40 homers, which doesn't happen very often. So that's my number four card. Uh, that is a card that goes for, oh, Anywhere from two to five dollars on eBay. It's not that most. It's not that expensive of a card. I just really like the mini version. You see how it's smaller than the others, and I like the prediction because they were right smack dab on. Okay, we're ready for the top three. Number three in my list. I pulled this out of a pack. Uh, 2018. This is Topps Archives, I believe. Yep, 2018 Topps Archives. Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card. It's got the rookie card logo. Once again, we got that white border. Uh, the centering on this, I think, is pretty good. Uh, maybe top to bottom, a little bit less space at the bottom than at the top. But, I mean, it's pretty close to centered. I like the old school Braves logo on the helmet. The old kind of cursive letter A. And uh, I just like the look of this design. I don't, uh, I don't know exactly what year that is that they're replicating. He's got the old Tops logo here on the back. Card number 212. And this is his rookie card for the Topps Archive set. Now there's other more expensive versions of this, colored versions and numbered versions, but just for the base card, number 212, uh, this goes on eBay right now 
anywhere from $5 up to about $14 is what it's sold for for the last couple of weeks. Um, if I do, if I am lucky enough to get this graded, if it would come back as a PSA 10, which I'm not sure if this one would, PSA 10 is, goes from anywhere from like $40 to $45. So this is a pretty nice card. You might be able to pick it up cheap on eBay for anywhere from five to 10 bucks, 15 bucks maybe. And then if you can find a good one and get it graded, you can make some pretty nice cash because it's sold for $45 just here in the last couple of weeks on eBay if it comes back a PSA 10. Obviously, PSA shut down right now, so you can't send anything in, but eventually one day it will open up and then maybe we can get our cards graded again. All right, we're here for the top two. Number two on my list. This is the Bat Down picture, but this is not the famous Bat Down card. Uh, this is the Topps Holiday, 2018 Topps Holiday edition of Ronald Acuna. They used the same photo from the uh, from the Bat Down card that was put into Series 2, uh, but this is for Topps Holiday. This is not the metallic snowflake. You can see the snowflakes up at the top, if I can get them out of the glare. The snowflakes down here along the bottom. It's got the Ricky Card logo. This is probably the more affordable, obviously, of the... Tops Ronald Acuna Jr. Ricky cards. You can see it's numbered on the back HMW Holiday Mega uh, Winter 50. Uh, so this is a card that you can find anywhere on eBay for seven to twenty dollars ungraded. Now, if you can get a graded version and get a PSA 10, you're looking for a lot more than you're looking at. I don't know, fifty, sixty dollars, maybe, maybe even more. I don't know. I don't have that information in front of you. But Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, this is his Tops Holiday. That's why some people were really looking for those Topps Holiday boxes. Oh, during the summer, Walmart started putting them back on shelves, and people were rushing to get them to see if they could get that Acuna. You can get the metallic snowflake, where the snowflakes have a little bit of um, a little bit of chrome stuff on them that really makes it shine. I don't have any of those. That is probably my most valuable Ronald Acuna Jr. card that I have right now. And then the number one card, this is not even the most valuable. I just really like the picture. This is 2018 Topps Gallery. Once again, it's got the Ricky Card logo. Maybe it's just the white border. I really like the white border and then the colored photography really stands out. This is a good picture of Ronald Acuna Jr. And for a Ricky Card, Topps Gallery, this is my favorite card, even though it's not the most valuable. This is the favorite Ronald Acuna that I own. I believe I got this one out of a pack um, on the back. Topps Gallery really doesn't show as much detailed information. Just kind of shows some month-by-month -month statistics for him. Um, gives him a, a little brief rundown there. You can see he was born in Venezuela in 1997. Signed as a free agent. Still kind of burns me. He is the, I've said this in other videos, Ronald Acuna Jr. is the cousin of Alcides Escobar. And being a Royals fan, um, he was around the Royals organization a whole bunch, just hanging around Escobar even as a youngster, and the Royals were about to sign him, and they had, I mean, they'd followed him for a long, long time. He'd hit in their cages. He'd been around the team for a long time. The Royals offered him, um, but then the Braves came in at the last minute and offered him more money, and he signed with the Braves. And it's only one of those things where you wonder, man, what could have happened if the Royals had signed Acuna and he had followed his cousin's footsteps instead of signing with Atlanta? So, if you ever are interested, look up the story of Ronald Acuna Jr. signing with the Braves instead of the Royals. You'll find some pretty cool stuff. So that's my number one card in my Ronald Acuna Jr. collection. Um, that card isn't the most expensive. That's maybe anywhere from $6 up to $15 on eBay. The prices are kind of fluctuated on that. So there you have it, guys. My 10 favorite Ronald Acuna Jr. cards. Um, hopefully I can add some more over the rest of this year and... Over coming months, uh, I don't know, I'll probably have to look some on eBay. I would like to get the first Bowman Chrome version of this card. I don't know if that bat down card will ever lower itself in price where I can ever get that. But for right now, these are my top 10 Ronald Acuna Jr. favorite cards. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you can. Uh, even just one subscriber on each video, five subscribers. If I could get five subscribers off of this video, it'd be really sweet. If you want to sub subscribe, comment, give me some suggestions, that would be great. Otherwise, have a good day. See you.